Mrs. Chen, John, Mary, Chen family, DAP leaders, comrades, and friends. We have heard just now how a good uh, family man Dr. Chen Manhen is as a, as a husband, as a father, as a grandfather. But there is, then, and there is no doubt that without, without Dr. Chen, DAP will not what it will be today. And we look at DAP today, strong, firm, and a leading political party. And this is all the foundation that laid by Dr. Chen. Other parties uh, begin have changed. Even AMNO, the first four AMNO presidents on Jaffa, Tunku Abdul Rahman, Raza Hussein, Hussein On, will not be able to recognize the AMNO today. Even Musa Haitam said recently, what have they done to AMNO? And there's no, talk, no need to talk about other parties, the MCA and MIC, which have failed for 10 years to even dare to condemn the mega monstrous one MDB scandal. But the foundation of uh, the Dr. Chen led, we went, we went through the darkest days of DAP in the 60s, 70s, we went through considerable tests and uh, trials. There were, there, there were times when, we, in fact, the Deputy Prime Minister at the time, uh, Ismail, said that DAP was one step in the grave. They expected the DAP to disappear. But DAP didn't disappear because of the commitment, the perseverance, idealism of people like led by Dr. Chen Panin. He's very quiet, very humble, very mild, but he has iron in the soul. He's prepared to go all the way for justice, for freedom, for a better Malaysia. Although Dr. Chen is China born, he is a Malaysian through and through. And that's what I think is important. There's, there, there is another significant event today, the launching of a book on corruption by the Sultan of Pera. And he, so, he spoke about the need for Malaysia to recognize the problem of corruption is a cancer, is a disease. We want Malaysia to be great, like Dr. Shimanin. And we must remember what these pioneers of the nation have done. The outpouring of grief and the support shown to Dr. Chen. When he, when he passed away. And Kapal Singh, our chairman, showed that we have made a mark. DAP leaders have made a mark on the lives of Malaysians, which they remember. And uh, this is what we should continue. What is important is to, to remember them. And the best way to remember Dr. Chairman Hen is to continue his vision of a Malaysian dream, a Malaysian, a united, a world-class great nation, which is clean, effective, and incorruptible. And I want to dedicate a poem that I first came into, I first read when I was in school in the 50s. Azam of Life. Azam of Life written by Longfellow, the poet, a famous poet. Tell me not in mournful numbers 
life is but an empty dream. For the soul is dead that slumbers and things are not what they seem. Life is real. Life is earnest. And the grave is not its goal. Thus thou art to dust returnest was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment, not sorrow is our destined end of the way. But to act that each tomorrow find us farther than today. Art is long, time is fleeting, and our hearts, though stout and brave, still let like muffled drums are beating, funeral marches to the grave. In the world's broad field of battle, in the bivouac of life, be not like dumb driven cattle, but a hero in the strife. There's no future, however pleasant. Trust no future, however pleasant. Let the dead pass, bury his dead. Act, act in the living present, heart within, and God overhead. Lives are great men, all reminders. We must make our lives sublime. And departing, leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another, sailing over life's solemn main, a forlorn and shipwrecked brother, seeing shall take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate. Still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. There is no doubt that Dr. Chapman Hen has left footprints on the sands of time. It is for us to continue the Malaysian dream of Dr. Chapman Hen, a world class, plural, united, effective, and clean. Malaysia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your sharing, Saudara YB Lim Kit Siang.